this is Lisa Wentz with Family Matters Law Group and today's video is all about divorce mediation. So I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the different options that are available with divorce mediation in Florida. A lot of times people come to the table thinking that mediation is the right option for them and I think most of the time people think about mediation in terms of coming before a mediator, the two parties, without attorneys and seeing if they can work out the issues in um, their divorce. And that is a type of mediation. Attorneys would call that pro se mediation, meaning that you are showing up without an attorney. We also talk about that as like a pre-filing mediation, meaning people come to mediation before filing anything to see if they can work out their differences. And it is a good option for a lot of people. I have been a mediator for a couple of decades at this point in time, and there are certain cases that are really perfectly suited for pre-filing or pro se mediations, but there are other cases that are not. So if you are um, in a relationship that is coming to an end and the two of you have a relatively good relationship and the ability to discuss the outstanding issues and both of you are really committed to trying to work through those things without it turning um, into a lot of litigation or ending up in front of a judge, you may be a good candidate for mediation. But the second piece of it is that you have to be a person who either educates yourself ahead of time about what your rights are legally or who doesn't really care so much about what Florida law says or what a court or what a judge would do in the particular situation. Because even though I'm an attorney and a mediator, once you hire me as a mediator and you come to mediation for the process of trying to work through your differences, I cannot give legal advice. No mediator can give legal advice. So there's not gonna be a way during mediation if you're there without an attorney to get feedback about what your rights are or get feedback about what would happen if a judge was to make a decision at mediation. So you either need to be okay with that whatever settlement the two of you are working out is based on your needs and what makes sense to you and what's fair to you and what's reasonable to you, not what Florida law says, or you need to get educated before you get there about what Florida law is. Um, if you are not that kind of person, if you're gonna always wonder what would have happened in court, I do not advise that you try to move forward with mediation without an attorney. The other type of case that is really not good for mediation without attorneys involved or pre-filing mediations is cases where you have a lot of questions about the other person's finances. When you don't have all the information or you're afraid that you do not have all of the information, you do not want to go into the mediation process um, without having an attorney review the information that is missing, ask for the information that's missing, do the necessary discovery is what we would call it, to figure out the financial status of the other person. Um, now, the only exception to that would be someone who's like, I don't know what he or she makes, I don't know what he or she has, but I don't care. I don't want any of it, I just wanna get out. If you fall into that category, then you probably could proceed with mediation, even while you're missing financial information. But I also wanna make people aware that mediation is not just about pre-filing. It is not just about people who don't have attorneys. In fact, every single case in Florida family law that involves children has to go to mediation. So while I mediate and I serve in the capacity of a mediator pretty frequently, I also am the attorney who goes to mediation with my clients on a very frequent basis. And in that capacity, my job is to see if I can negotiate and settle, but to also educate my client along the way about the possibilities, about um, the consequences of their actions, and about what would be the alternatives if we don't settle and we end up in court. So if you're contemplating mediation, just know that it doesn't necessarily mean that you cannot have an attorney. And in fact, lots of attorneys like myself are happy to be retained by someone and go to mediation before filing the case so that we can very quickly try to resolve the issues. <clears throat> it really comes down to whether or not you're a person who needs legal advice, needs to be legally educated about your rights prior to entering into settlement negotiations or not. 
Hopefully this was helpful. It was a whole lot of information and I'm sure I'm gonna follow up with some more videos about mediation in the future. If you found this content helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel so that you can stay updated about content moving forward. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this information helpful, make sure you like and subscribe so you stay updated about new content on the channel.